Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. Got a fascinating little video. This is no secret. Uh, other people have done videos about this, but the new AMD Radeon 7900 XTX, that's the highest end card that they make, has a little bit of a problem with some of the vapor chamber cool coolers that come with the card. So um, you may not know what a vapor chamber is, and I'm no expert, but this is my understanding of it. So the vapor chamber covers the majority of the card. It my understanding is it cools the memory as well as the chip, and I think it might even cool the VRMs, uh, but I'm not sure about that one. The, my understanding of the way the vapor chamber works is there is water inside of the vapor chamber, which goes right over the top of the components. The water uh, is liquid, and then it turns into a vapor, and then the vapor moves uh, away from the hot components and is cooled by the fins. And then what happens is that vapor turns back into a water or excuse me, a liquid and then moves back down onto the components. And then that process just repeats itself. And that's why it's called a vapor chamber. Now, the problem AMD has is with some of these vapor chambers, whoever manufactured them, uh, some of them did not put enough water into the vapor chamber. And so what happens is if the card is sitting vertically, and again, this is only some of the cards, if the cards is, is sitting vertically, uh, it cools for the most part just fine. And that's what I have here. I actually have an affected card running here. And I've been running, this is the Heaven Benchmark, for about 10 minutes. And it's leveled out the GPU hotspot, which is essentially in simplistic terms, the hottest spot on the card. There's sensors all over the card. The hot spot on the card is hovering in the low 90s, around 90, 92 degrees Celsius. And of course, we know the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Um, and so anyway, it's hovering right around 90 degrees Celsius. Now, where you run into trouble, which is the interesting part of this equation, is when the card is mounted like this in the case. And probably 90% of people are going to have the card like this in their case, because they're gonna have a tower case like this. And that's where the overheating occurs. So what I'm gonna do is I've been running this card, as I said, for about 10 minutes, and it's sitting like this. I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna stand this case up carefully. So I'm carefully reorienting this case. You can probably see the top of it a little bit here. And so now the card, instead of standing like this, is now sideways like this. And what that something about the dynamic of not having enough water in the vapor chamber will then start the overheating process. And so uh, we may have to actually sit here for just a minute and wait. But what's going to happen is um, this 90-ish degrees that we've been seeing is going to climb and eventually reach 110 degrees Celsius. Now 110 degrees Celsius is sort of the red line. And what happens is the card's fans start speeding up. Um, right now, I'm going to put the microphone down here by the car, and we're still in the low 90s. The fans are at about 63%, and once you reach that 110 degree hot spot temperature, then the card starts to throttle itself. In other words, the uh, GPU clock and the memory clock start to come down to compensate for that higher temperature and prevent the card from melting or blowing, and I say I'll blow up, but you know, physical damage occurring. And originally when this problem came out, um, AMD said, oh, it's designed that way. And it's true. If the card gets to 110 degrees, it is designed to throttle down. But what they didn't realize is uh, the people reporting it actually had good cooling in their cases. In fact, there's no side on this case right now. Now, where we're at at the moment, we're up to 97 degrees. Now, this thing stayed between 90 and 92 degrees for the entire time I had it sitting. Uh, the case was on its side and the card was sitting vertically. And now that I've changed the orientation, we are now hitting 98 degrees. And what will happen is this will continue to climb. The fan speeds will continue to climb and will eventually reach 110 degrees. Uh, the fans have gone from, I believe I reported 62%, they're up to 71%, and we're up to 98, 99 degrees now on our GPU temperature. And it'll take about two or three or four minutes more for us to reach that 110 degrees Celsius. So I'll probably stick a cut in here and come right back. But I'm going to continue filming. Uh, I'm just going to cut the video 
and come back here after a minute or two. Okay, I've cut props probably about two to three minutes out of the video, so you didn't have to sit there and watch this. We are now at 108 degrees, and we're fluctuating slightly. Um, I'm going to grab a, a screen grab of this so I can post it uh, in the video. So I'm going to grab a quick screen grab. So we're around 108 right now, and our fan speed is at 98%. And this is simply from switching the card to being mounted horizontally. So here is the, the fan noise we're hearing now. And again, we're at 100% fan. We've now hit 110 degrees, which is the red line. It will not go any higher than that. It will then start to compensate by cutting back on the performance. And so I had six of these cards, and of the six cards, one of them, this one, has this problem. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this now. And I'm going to have to RMA it. And you may say, well, gosh, I don't want a card like this. I'm not buying one of those. Well, if you buy a system from us, obviously we're going to run this test and we're going to make sure that your vapor chamber was filled with enough water to not have this issue. Uh, and that would be a part of the normal burn-in process. I probably would have caught this without even uh, having been told about the problem because I would have been like, why is this fan blasting at 100% like this? When this card's at 100% load and has a well-ventilated case, you really should never hit, in my opinion, 100% fan. The only time you hit 100% fan would be if you don't have a well-ventilated case. So when this card is working properly, um, we shouldn't see this at all.